hello everyone my name is Kevin welcome back to some more Icarus we're on beta weekend number two and we are jumping back into a brand new prospect here got to tool around just a little bit with it kind of give me an idea of the new area just barely and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna hopefully see how long we can survive uh, we <laughs> hopefully longer than we did last time since the last time we played in beta weekend one we pretty much died right after we showed up because the wolf decided to come after us. All right, so there's a couple things that uh, changed for sure. Like for one, we don't have a map now. That's kind of disheartening a little bit because it makes it harder to figure out where we're going. Now, in the first part of this where I uh, jumped in just to grab some stuff and kind of get an idea of the lay of the land, I found out there's not really a water source anywhere around close by, uh, which is kind of difficult. But I did find one, so we're going to try and get to it. I'm just trying to grab the basic level supplies so we can kind of get started on what we have to have. I do know now that I didn't know last time that the ox that you use is for your O2. Drag it right over here, it depletes it, or you can consume it from here and it will do its thing. And you do know how to make a uh, pickaxe and a stone axe from the very beginning. Now you don't have to spec into those at all. So this, I'm gonna need a little bit more stone to be able to get that going. So yeah, we're back in Icarus. Um, they made a lot of changes between the first beta and this one. They rebalanced some of the weapons, some of the tools, they rebalanced the spec tree, the tech tree, that sort of thing. And um, this particular update, if you hadn't already heard about it, brings in some of the storms. Now, we, we ran across one of those storms in the first one, and it almost killed us, but it was like a mild rainstorm. So, we didn't really have much to have to deal with. This one, we have, there's all kinds of stuff. From what I've seen, um, people have been having to deal with blizzards, they've been having to deal with torrential rain and flooding and all kinds of happy stuff. So... Um, we're going to start heading east because from what I remember gathering uh, when I was playing earlier, east is the direction at least towards the first water source that I could find. We need to just pretty much pick up all the resources we can find laying around. I'm very, very thankful about the fact that resources like fiber, wood, and stone are so plentiful, at least in this particular area. I'm going to assume that once we get access in future betas and then the final release, that uh, we get to some other biomes like the desert and the frozen biome, that sort of thing. The things are going to be a little bit less friendly for us. Uh, I'm trying to keep an eye out for things. There was a big patch that hit right before I started playing this one here, and it looked like one of the things they changed was how often and how many bears spawn in. Because apparently a lot of people were like, Dear God, there's a lot of bears, man! So... Um, fortunately, we didn't run into any bears. I haven't seen any yet. All we've had to deal with was just some wolves. That's not too bad. And apparently the developers did not listen to me last time during my gameplay and tell, you know, tell their devs not to change it because it takes more than just two hits to fell a tree now. It takes like three or four, and that's okay. It's still a whole lot faster than if you were trying to do it in real life, especially with a stone axe here. So... I freaking love the visuals as to how well this game looks as far as like damage and stuff goes. Chop it down, look at Splinter, the interior of that because, well, we didn't chop through that and we're using a mostly a dull axe. But I just like how it shows realistic damage progression with the things and yes, I realize that, you know, it perfectly splitting into, you know, four equal parts without having a log splitter is not realistic, but... You take some, you get some, you know, and I'm not cutting down the whole rest of the tree. I don't need it. All right, so we leveled up here. I need to pick a couple things. Huh? What's up? Hold up. What's up? I think it was just a deer running past, but if you've ever seen wildlife take off running, there's usually a reason. Some sort of predator around here, or are they just out for a morning jog? Okay, let's try this again. All right, tech tree. So I'm going to start off bow and arrow, regular arrows, and a stone knife just so I can start getting into killing animals and harvesting their body parts for it. Uh, as far as talents goes, uh, let me see, they kind of changed up the way the talent tree works here too a little bit. And I'm, so I'm not entirely sure the direction I'm going to go with my talent skill point just yet. Um, there's a lot of stuff here that could be useful, like wood hauling. See, okay, when you're trying to get to the, bil uh, the ability to be able to make like, um, let me scroll over a little bit. For your housing, you have to go through the thatch first before you can get to wood, and then you have to go through all the wood before you can get to stone, which is, I believe, a tier at least level 10 to be able to get there. 
Um, anyway, so it's take a little while to get there. So I don't want to put a lot of this, a lot of points into that sort of thing yet until we get to where we need it. What's going on? Okay. All right. Let's see if we can't find something to shoot. Oh, I need to make some arrows and a bow actually, since I learned how to do that. Craft one of those. How many arrows can I make? Ten. Yeah, it's an okay start. I have seen just from playing around and watching some other people play that it does seem like the bow hunting does take a little bit more effort than it did the first beta. Is that a beaver? I don't think I hit the beaver. <laughs> I don't think that was a beaver. I think it was a raccoon. We need to go ahead and gather as much crap as possible so we can make some more of these things. Oh, also, pro tip. If you're brand new to this and you're like me and you were struggling to try and find a water source very early on, these bushes right here, uh, berry bushes, you get a chunk of those, whatever, and they do help a little bit. You see it's plus two water, so if you find yourself starving for water, you can get a chunk of those and at least keep you going long enough to find an actual water source. Now, something else in this update that they've done, this beta weekend too, is we have access to caves now. I don't believe we had access to caves in the first one. I'm pretty sure that's specific to this update. And so, yeah, a lot of times you'll, uh, okay, that's just a deer. You find caves in these kind of uh, rock juttings and stuff here. So I'm trying to head east because this is the direction I, whoa, what's up? I remember seeing the water supply. I wanted to try and get near a water supply. All right, let's get some oxide here. We can get a huge chunk of this. Mining and uh, chopping down trees and stuff, you do get some experience for. You can see it going up a little bit. It's like plus 30, plus 60. Once you've completely destroyed the item, which we'll have to wait because we're almost out of stamina now, I think you get a small little boost to XP. It seems like from what I've gathered talking to people, um, the biggest thing you get for leveling up fast is killing items, uh, uh, sorry, animals. All right, so we got 150 there for finishing off that last little bit of it. We're going to continue on down this pathway. I'd be curious as to, you know what, let me uh, make sure we got a, a bow here. Did I pick up enough stuff to make any more arrows? Let's see, I can make ooh, one. Let's let's do that. Now we have nine. Woohoo! rocking it now. I like the, uh, I really, really enjoy this game. This game is fantastic. Yes, it is still in beta. It is early access. If you buy the game now, uh, here's something else too, if you didn't know this. If you buy the game now, you get access to the beta weekends when they have those. Um, this, by the time you're watching this, the beta is probably still going on at least for a little bit, but probably not much longer because it only lasts through the weekend. But um, they're going to have like four more betas after this one before the actual release of the game, assuming that there's no kinds of pushbacks or anything. So, and along with that, if you didn't know and you buy the game and you decide all the way up to the point of the game's release that you don't want it, you're, it's just not running right for you, it's not what you expected, you can get a full refund and play through all the betas all the way up into the game's release and not have to worry about getting your money back. So... Also, if you're going to do something like playing this game, do read through the minimum requirements for this game because it is a hog. I am playing on a, it's almost a five-year-old computer now. This is the 1080. Uh, I've got like 32 gigs of memory. And you can see, I'm, it looks okay, but I have some of my settings on medium, some on high. And so I'm not rocking super high settings. And it, even on my computer where it's at now, I still get the occasional little frame drop, little frame dip here and there. But it's also because the game is in a beta format right at the moment. It's early access. If you watch any of the, Oh, there's some water down there. Uh, if you watch any of the dev streams, they've also been seeing it chug a little bit. It's what you expect when you're getting into a beta format. It's, it's not something to be surprised about. So just do keep that in mind if you plan on picking it up. To read the specs before you decide to buy it or not if your computer can't handle it i know there was a lot of people last time they're very unhappy that they had got the game and couldn't run it it was chugging on their computer it's a hog it, it is i'm not gonna lie and no in in no way just in case anybody questions or whatever i am in no way being paid to say this i'm i bought the game myself I'm trying to see if we had any cave systems run up over here we got this little uh jutting of rocks here Okay, so we have ourselves a lake. This is fantastic. Keep an eye out for things that could possibly kill me that might be also here to get a drink. See if we can't run down and get a sip real quick. Go ahead and top off the water. What are you? You're just a deer, right? 
Okay, that wasn't a deer. That was a raccoon. That little bastard was like, I'm coming for you. Let me craft a knife real quick so I can go ahead and choppy choppy this thing up here. Uh oh. Oh god. I got out of the menu. I thought that deer was about to start some stuff. Go ahead and get this. And. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, it, yeah, it is a raccoon. Okay, so we can get us a, ra a raccoon carcass. Go ahead and take all of that. Uh, good, it got rid of his bones already, so you don't have to worry about those hanging out, doing their own thing. Uh, let's see, how many more arrows can I make? Probably be a good idea. 19, nice. Probably a good idea to have a ton of those on me. I'm trying to make sure there's not any bear or wolves in the general area. This looks like it could be a good place to call home. <laughs> I, every time I hear something rustling in the, the woods and stuff there, I'm like, well, this is where we die. I'm trying to get to the next level, too, so I can start worrying about building a house, because I need to put this, uh, the points into that real quick. And also, I need to be able to learn how to make a campfire so I can cook some of the food that I'm gathering up here. Uh, let's see. Let's see if there's any fish down here. There's one right there. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, yeah! First try! Please don't be any alligators in here. Oh, you're an ugly mug. It's okay, you're a fish. I caught a fish. I don't know what kind of fish it is. This is an alien planet. I'm hoping there's not, like, piranha in here. That would suck. <laughs> Did I get... I'm not sure what the... Uh-oh, hang on. All right, let's see if we can't... Okay, we got the stealth attack. Come back here. Oh, he's faster than we are. Okay, I'm not sure what that affliction is. Uh, let's see. What do I have any listing of what's this affliction right? Did it go away? Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Is it an infection? I need to f oh yeah, there it is. Okay, this is dysentery Contaminated water is giving you the runs. Oh, that's not cool. <laughs> I've got the squirts. I Hear a wolf. Oh, hold on. There's a baby deer Is that a baby deer or a goat? I can't tell. We'll see if we can creep up here around it. Killing animals is the best way to gain uh, early XP. There goes another raccoon. Sure, I'll go ahead and grab the fur. Uh-oh, they can hear me and or see me. I'm not exactly being quiet, so that's not surprising. Where'd that baby go? They go down much faster. That almost sounded wrong. There you are. Where'd you go? Okay. Where did you go? So yeah, while I have you guys here, if you enjoy these kinds of videos, which I hope you do, and uh, you know if you're new to the channel, you've never been here, you know maybe consider subscribing. Help push us up closer to that 150,000 mark. We're getting closer and closer to that all the time. There's a bar right over there. Uh, let's just hope he goes about his business. We've not had to deal with a bear yet, but oh, he looks really cool. Anyway, yeah, so if you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. If you enjoy the video, do leave a like on it and leave some comments and stuff, you know, critiques if you've got to play it, your thoughts on it, and dear God, I hope he's not running towards me. Let's put a little distance between Yogi and myself. Nope, he's coming for me. Oh, crap, sickles. Okay. He, let's... Oh, crap! He can swim good, too. I'm not sure why I thought bears couldn't swim very good. I was hoping me clearing some distance in the water would put some space between me and him, but nope. Oh, God. Oh, my God. We're going to die right here. It's going to happen. Bear's going to kick my butt. Round the rock. Round the rock. Oh, crap. He went that way. He still got my arrow, at least. Oh, crap. Nope. Okay. How many arrows do we have? 23? Is that enough to kill a bear? Oh, shit. I think we hit a deer. <laughs> the deer just, like, ran between us. Okay. Keep the rock between you and the bear. Blue. Blue. I don't have anything you want. Um, unless you're trying to eat my butt, in which case, no. Okay, let's just keep doing this. Oh, crap. Stamina's a little bit... Oh! Ow! He bit me! Uh-oh, we're low on stamina. I gotta get that back up. Ow! He's right there now. Okay. Whew. Keep the angles. Keep the angles. I don't know how many shots it's gonna take to kill the bear, but... If we can keep hitting him in the face, just maybe. Oh, crap. We're out of stamina. Oh, he killed me. Uh-oh. Hey. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Don't do it, man. Do not do it. You, you don't want any of this. Don't do it, man. All right. So we still have a talent point here. Might as well go ahead and pick up some of this stuff that we're definitely going to need so we can replenish the supplies that we just lost. All our tools. Dang it. That stupid bear. 
That's not cool. Okay, so in relevance to our original drop pod... Oh, it's probably literally right next to where I'm at here. Okay, we need to get back... Hold on, let's see where we are as far as inventory of what I can craft. Whoops, wrong button. Let me see, can I go ahead and make uh, this and uh, need a little bit more of that? It's okay. Dang it. Well, this is supposed to be an unforgiving landscape. Um, I don't know exactly here because I'm still learning part of it there. But one of the things is that specific regions have different level of animals now. And so I may have wandered into an area in which there was a higher level animal than I'm prepared to handle. Such as a big freaking bear, who has all about a dozen of my arrows sticking out of his face, so at least we should be able to recognize him if we see him again. Okay, can I go ahead and make this now? Get you. I can't make a bow. Go ahead and make the knife. What do I need for you? I need some more sticks. Alright, those should be pretty easy to come by. Get some more wood. Free wood is always good. I can't believe we got killed by a bear. I would at least rather be killed by a bear in this game than a wolf. I feel like I should be able to handle myself against a wolf. Especially since you can kill him with like two shots to the face. Dying by a bear is at least an honorable manly way to go. Or I'm going to say that. Eight. Okay. Alright, so we're back up to where we started with stuff. I need to go east again. We can't get any of our crap back. Oh, there's a cottontail deer. That one's a big one. I don't think I can handle him. Shooting him in the butt's not going to do anything besides annoy him, so we should probably not do that. But I do want to get back to that general area. Man, we took a big XP dump by losing that much. Alright, well, we need to get back over at least to the area we were trying to build in so we can... If we can, if we can kill some actual animals that are within our range here, that would be nice because then we can get closer to level up and then I can start making myself a home. Also, since this is the beta weekend, I'm going to play and record. I'm going to try to get at least two videos done. So if you're enjoying watching this, uh, do keep up or keep an eye out for the rest of the videos. Hence the subscribing, you know, A, it helps me, it's free, stuff like that. And, you know, leave comments, stuff like that, because it does actually help the algorithm tell other people to come watch this video too. And, yeah. Okay, so that's where we wandered in the first time. Oh, yes! That'll help out with the XP. Yeah, baby! Stealth shot. Oh, that was a good one, too. Right in the eye. I don't feel bad. I don't. Wolves? <laughs> you better not even think about coming over here. This is my kill. But we did take a decent uh, dip in experience for that. Go ahead and chop this down. That way it doesn't attract the wolves. And we can use the bones for something, I'm assuming. What do we have? I don't know what you can use the bones for. I haven't got that far. So, if you know, feel free to tell me. But I don't right at the moment. But I'm glad we at least got one kill there. So if we get to where we make a campfire. Easy does it. What's that sound? It sounds like something skittish. you like skirting around. Or, I'm not sure what that sound is. Alright, so I wonder if the bears live in caves. I mean, it would make sense. Since that's typically where bears live when given the opportunity to. I should probably chop this up a bit, get some XP for it. You know, thinking about it right now, I believe under one of the talents that there is a stamina, base health, base movement speed, swim speed. I swear I... Oh, there it is. Increased base stamina. I'm going to put one into there. May have more benefit doing it something else, but having some extra stamina when chopping some stuff or running for my life would be useful for sure. So... Might as well go ahead and uh, use it while I can. If I can level up again, I'll another, get another one. Alright, so we're almost back up to where we were before we took the hit. <laughs> the, the multiple hits. We got bit in the butt. <laughs> it would be nice, um, and I'm maybe there is. I need to find a way to, keep, to have a, an in-earth respawn, basically. I'm not sure if there's a way to do that. Alright, so there's the lake we were originally nearby. Uh, let me go ahead and get back over here. I'm just going to consume this entire stack. See? Boom. Food and water. Almost full now. So we're good to go on that. Let me see where I'm at on supplies here real quick. Pick up these. Uh, crafting. Go ahead and make... How many more arrows can I make? 18 more. That'll put me up to... I like how fast that is. If you've ever like crafted arrows in arc, whatever, it's considerably slower. It's not super slow, but I like how fast the crafting is here. 
I don't need it to be realistic. I don't need it to see an animation of him slowly winding up, a, you know, the twine around the stick to tighten the rock and stuff like that. Just, ta-da, it's done. It's, <laughs> it doesn't have to be realistic to make me a happy player. Got some fiber, nice. Just trying to keep an eye out for Mr. Byer. I hear... What do I hear? I swear I hear something that sounds like it's walking right next to me. And I wish it would quit it. Alright, let me see. I'm going to split this stack real quick and put half of it not there. And go back over here. Put half of it up there. It'll slowly uh, reuse this whatever and raise this up on its own. If I'm pretty sure. I'm almost certain it does. That's what. Yeah, see it's slowly using it right there and raises it up. So, it'll raise it up on its own instead of having to just consume it. It'll raise it up slowly on its own and refill okay so we got a deer right over there oh crap minor showers is there a cave nearby okay we got stealth attack but we missed a headshot dang it okay he, he apparently doesn't care too much oh we miss got him okay um hey you any chance you could can I have my arrows back? Uh, give me the option to skin it. There we go. Maybe this give me an F XP from here to go ahead and level up. Yes. All right. Take all. Close that. Let me get your bones up out of here. Get my arrows back. Okay. No bears for just a second. Was that a bear I saw? Okay. Let's see. Right over here. Seemed to be an okay spot for now. All right. Let's get into our crafting tech tree. Let's get to the right spot. We need beams floor and walls all right so we should be able to let's see the beams you use i think two should probably do it floors uh we're gonna start uh oh is that the sound of a bear coming oh no it's a wolf hey you little bastard hey what the hell oh crap did i actually throw my axe or something bad doggy Crap, did I, I think I hit the button and threw my axe. I don't even know where it went. Whoops. I'm blaming you for that one here. I'm trying to do something, man. Can you leave me the hell alone for a second? We got storm exposure. Go ahead and take all this. Give me your bones. Okay. All right, so we'll find our axe here in a minute. We don't need it just yet. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, all right. So we got uh, this is what we let me see. We have this right here. Go ahead and put you down. We got two of these. Let's see if I put you like right here and right there. That should be good. Okay, did I go ahead and make a floor? I did. Nice. Go ahead and put you down here. Put you right up on top of that. That's at least good enough for now. We're it's just going to float on one side. We're going to have to rely on magic. I need to make one more floor. And I need to make uh, four walls. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I don't. I don't mind. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I don't have enough. We'll, we'll start with three walls. Get that going here. Okay. Did I not make the other floor? I may not have had enough. Oh, I need some more sticks for that. I need that for the roof. Basically, I'm just going to be hol uh, holding myself in for the night. Okay. Let's get the walls up. Not for the night, but basically just long enough to survive. Why? Oh, hold on, I'm stupid and it hurts. Okay, put one right there, one right there, one right there, and then we'll put another floor over the top of us. Um, that might help at least a little bit. I need to gather some more sticks real quick. Should be plenty laying around here. Gather this, I can put another wall up. I don't have the skill points to learn how to make a door, so I have to basically just like wall myself in. Which kind of sucks. Uh, let's run over here real quick. Gather what we can while we're running. Top off our water. I don't know how long the storm's going to last. It looks like it's kind of clearing up. You can see the bar up at the top right. <clears throat> storm exposure. Okay. I need to make another wall real quick. Uh, that's not what I wanted to make. I clicked the wrong button. Let's make another... There we go. Okay, put you right here. There we go. Nice. Okay, so now we're out of the storm exposure. Um, all you have to do is basically destroy it when you um, <laughs> you're ready to get out of here so this tiny little thatch house will keep us busy until the storm passes hopefully food and water is okay I need to make a chest to store some stuff I'm gonna go ahead and consume this real quick just keep food and water up while we're waiting 
All right, what do we have? Arrows, I need to put those there. Fibers, okay. Oxygen, our oxygen is good. Leather and fiber and fur we put down here and bone, I don't need you yet. Meat, I need to hang on to and yeast. Okay, so we have like prep things, hardware, food. We'll put our consumables down here just so I can glance at it and know where it is real quick. Should probably put you up here. I do like to keep my inventory kind of organized, despite how it looks. Oh, I do have another a point here I need to probably look into as well. Oh, dang. Storm incoming. Is it a... Okay, so it's raining. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Our heat is going up. We're not freezing or anything. We're we're good. As ugly as this little place is. This, you know what? If you're trapped in the real wild... Well, this is the kind of thing you would have to make real quick. Basically a thatched lean-to. All right, let me see what I want to put this into real quick. I forgot under solo we have an option for increased base stamina. I'm going to put that in there as well. Okay, so it looks like the storm is ending. Uh, wait, hang on. Don't, don't I have the ability to... To... Uh, wait, isn't there a... Sh I swear there was a shortcut to be able to... I forgot which button. Whoops, no, that's the wrong button. I forgot what button it is to very quickly get out of this thing. All right, let me just get rid of this one wall real quick. Hope there's not a bear standing outside of it. There we go. That's that's that kind of works. All right, disappear, vanish. I need you, I need somebody to come clean up my house now. Are we clear? Okay, storm is gone. House is still standing. We need to level up again so we can make ourselves a campfire so all these animals that we're going to be killing, we can cook them. Berries are an okay source of food, but we should definitely be able to have, you know, some meats and stuff in there too. And I can learn how to make a storage chest as well. Gather all of this real quick. Okay, uh, let me see. Where did that put me as far as how many arrows we have? 21. I'm going to save a little bit of my crafting stuff. What is that big mamma jamma floating right there? Okay. A little bit more drop than I thought it was. Okay, this water is apparently freezing. I want this whale right here. Got it. Oh, that's probably the same thing as that one right there. But. Okay. So we got some fitches. Hopefully we don't have no piranhas. Oh, this is some. Are you in a. Are you an aggressive fish? All right, so we this water is definitely freezing. We're wet. Oh, what's this other affliction we have here? Poisoned venom. Oh crap! I need. I don't have any form of not dying from venom sort of first aid here. I don't even know where that's at. I've never even looked at that aspect of it. Uh, where would that be? Suture kit. That's for wounds. Uh, Antiparasitic, organic resin, and reed flowers. We're not there yet. Anti-poison. We need poison paste. Where the hell is poison paste at? <laughs> I don't know. That may be something we uh, need in the near future. That looks like a hundred, about two minutes and it'll um, go away on its own. We just have to not get attacked by anything for a little bit and hope our house doesn't get attacked by anything either like fire. I saw so many people having problems with the fire in the first beta watching their entire house burn down. It was funny because it didn't happen to me. That's the only reason it was funny. Okay, do we have any animals creeping around here that we can see? Need to get us a couple more. There's a raccoon. Gotcha. Yeah, I said raccoon instead of raccoon. Just be, see how many people would notice. Uh, sure, I'll take all of that. Need to level up again real, real quick. Let's see if we can find something else to kill here. Oh, hang on. I need to repair this. Stamina depleted. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Let's see, is there anything else creeping around? Uh, what was that? Oh, sweet Jesus, not again. Hey, watch out, there's a bear. Hold on, put your bear. Ow, no, bear, leave me alone. Man, leave me alone. Ow, he's going to eat my butt. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, damn it. Oh, is he going to sit on me now? Oh, I thought he was like sitting on me or teabagging me or something. Dude, you suck. If I didn't say that already. See, why can't you go for the deer? You guys suck. Can I even open? I can't open my map here. <laughs> well, looks like we're respawning again. 
What time of day is it here? Do we do we know it's uh, it's three o'clock in the afternoon? So we still got time before it gets dark. I really need to get to where I can level up so I can go ahead and get a campfire and food and a storage chest and all that stuff. Oh yeah, I hear you. You're big and scary. Lilacs, I believe we need those for one of those kinds of pace, but it'll be a little while before we learn how to do that. Anyway. Oh my god, look at that experience bar up at the top there. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so bad to see. We've died twice by a bear. I wonder what this odds is the same bear. That would suck if we got killed by the same bear. We have to stay nearby that area because that's where the only water source that I've been able to find is. All right, well, let's remake some of our stuff that we have to have here. At least we know how, though, so. But you and you. Uh, nope, need more fiber. Ah, oh, I like how easy it is to get supplies and stuff around here so you're not just wandering around forever like, oh my god, I gotta find a tree. Why can't I find any fiber? And I gotta do so much work to get it. It's just like accidentally stumble upon all the supplies you need. Okay, got us a bow. Now I need to get a bunch more stone. A bunch more sticks, more fibers, so we can make a bunch of arrows. Oh, it's going to take us a while to even get back up to where we started with the XP again here. You do take a decent hit when you die, that's for sure. You have to, like, get back so much of what you already gained. But, that's just part of a survival game. I never, oh, by the way, in case anybody is curious, no, I never not one time claimed to be an expert in this game. Not even a little bit. <laughs> So if you're if you're watching expecting to learn all the ins and outs, I know some things, but I'm not an expert. Okay, go ahead and make myself a knife real quick. How many arrows can I make? Two? What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing I don't have any rock at all. Okay, so we need to bust down a boulder. There's some aliens nearby I can hear them. Actually, I'm the alien, so... 18 to them, bad boys. Okay. Now we can at least get started. We're almost back up to where we started. Oh, that's a long-range shot. You think we got it? Put some... Uh, I have no idea where that one went. Sometimes the arrow drop looks like it's very, very shallow, and sometimes it just disappears off into the woods. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Here, a goat. Come here, goat. Where you is? Gotcha. There we go. Somehow or another, I accidentally made several knives. I don't know why I have so many of them. Can I break it down? Destroy. Nice. Okay, so I need to get I need to get rid of a couple of these things. I don't know why I ended up making so many knives. I guess maybe I accidentally... Because if you hit the number on the toolbar and you don't already have it there and it's what's equipped, it will make it. Um, if you ever played Ark, it's the same way. Once you have equipped, they're like, if I need to make a knife, all I have to do is hit four and it will make another one. So I think maybe I accidentally just uh, made too many of them. That would be my guess. Eh, no big deal. Is that a rabbit? Yeah, see, I was trying to hit three. I probably hit four and it just made a bunch of knives. Okay. So we can the shadows are starting to get a little bit long. We need to start making our way back towards our house. There's our original drop pod. We need to go east, which is this way. How are we on oxite? I should probably gather some of that up while I'm literally right next to a, a chunk of it. There we go. Almost back to uh, replenishing our depleted XP. All right, so we'll head east, pick up some berry bushes in case we need food and water along the way. Switch back over to bow in case we see something along the way that... Gotcha! I don't know what y'all were doing. Are, are y'all like friends? And did I accidentally just kill you? Kill both of you and ruin your whole adventure? Well, in time, you'll have to forgive me. Or you won't because I'm going to eat you. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll take all of that. Give me your bones. Give me my arrows back. Nice. Okay, we're almost to be able to level up here. And I'll probably make myself a chest and a campfire next. Because um, then I can store some crap in case I die again, which is possible. Now, that's something I don't know yet. We'll have to just see when we get to that point. If you die and you have to respawn in, um, will everything left in your chest still be there? Because I know everything that you've made stays. Like your house, I'm at least pretty sure it stays. Um, I think I'm heading in the right direction 
Uh, hold on. What are you? Where'd you go? I think he disappeared over the woods. Okay. All right, so there's the ravine we need to be inside. Let me see which direction it's going here. What is this creepy alien noise that's going on next to me here? Might as well pick you up. You're free. All right, so you ease down gently. Just ease down a little bit. No, nope, that's not gently. Okay, so we're running east still. We should start making our way down the hill. We can get back to our general area. Oh, I would love to be able to... I need to learn how to make a door on my house so I don't have to bust down the wall each time. I know there's a way to... And I'm not sure which button it is. I'll have to... Ooh, what are you? Is this iron? Sulfur. I don't know what to need you for, but I'll go ahead and get you because you are XP. Look at that. Plus 120. That's a good way to level up. I don't know what I need sulfur for. I've, I've seen it, but I've not actually used it for anything. I don't know the recipes. Maybe it's stink bomb or something that keeps the bears away. Is this some nasty stuff, man? Yes, there we go. All right, so we got to where we can learn how to do campfire. We need that. Uh, bedroll. What is this? More restorative than sleeping on the bare ground. I wonder if the bedroll either is just, hey, you can sleep now, or if you can use it to respawn. Oxidizer gives you a better chance to get oxygen than having to eat rocks. A uh, wood crate, storing small items. We'll put that in there. We got one more. Um, basic bandage. That could be useful. A rag torch. What is this? Water bomb. Oh, that could be nice and annoy the bears. Thatch roof we don't need because we can just put over the top of here. Thatch door. There we go. Um, I guess I'll learn how to do that. Okay, let um, finish gathering this so I get the resource, or the XP for finishing the beat down here. There we go. Alright, let's continue on down this direction. I need to see when I put the wall in there how to readjust it so that it's the right shape. I'm just glad we leveled up. We can make it... Hold on, let me uh, go ahead and get you going while you're... Oh, I need more stone. Okay. Stone, there we go. Oh, I need 24 for a campfire? That's a lot. I'm used to only needing, you know, 8 in the other game. Here's a rock. We can get a chunk of those real quick. Okay, that should be enough to get a campfire going. Boom, won't take you just a second. We can get down. We can get a campfire and get a door on our house. That'll be a good... And put our chest down so we can store stuff in it in case the stupid bear shows back up again and we don't lose all our crap. Because, again, I'm not sure if when you come back to a general area, if... Stuff left in your, um, if your chest stays there. See a deer. There's another, there's a bunch of deer. So, bear, you need to just, you know, m mind your business. Put you down right here. Nice. Okay. Uh, let me see. I do have some raw meat. Let me right and put you over here. Did I have more than one? I thought I had more than one on me. Maybe it was just the raw meat from the same one. Okay. And. Dicks, do I not have regular wood? I guess, hang on, I don't need to put all that there. Let's split it. Put half of you in there, and bam. Uh, do I need logs for that? Probably not just regular, uh, not sticks, but probably logs. I can get some wood real quick. Timber! Okay, that's at least enough to get started. Okay, don't need the sticks. Oh, it's because I stuck bone in there. I'm stupid. You just have to forgive me. I'm sure... Whoops. Dang it. Wrong button. Give me, give me that back. All right. I'm trying to split it. There we go. Put half of you over here. And now we can do that. Okay. So now what I want to see, because I haven't done it yet, is I need to see how to craft one wall. Let's see. I can put you down. I'll put you right there in five just so I can keep it there. Five. Wait, that's six. Sorry. Okay, so how do I uh, rotate R for variance? Thatch wall with the door frame. There we go. Okay, so you just hold R for it. All right, cool, cool, cool. And make a door. We'll put you down here in six as well. And let's see. Can we open, and close it? Sweet, we got a door. All right, now what do I need to be able to do to make a chest here? I need some more actual wood. Peek out here and make sure we're okay. All right, let's go see if we can find that tree that we were chopping on. Where'd you go? 
Uh, you fell right here you go. There we go. Get some more wood. We'll get us a chest going. Okay, we're going to pick up all the fur and fiber and stuff around here too. Get some stick, get some more wood. We'll make a chest. Nice. We'll just leave the rest of it there. It's going to be very much dark soon. Well, let's check on this. Cooked meat. Go ahead and take you real quick. Thank you much. How are we on food? Um, I guess I'll grab some water. Keep an eye out for the bear because you know he's nearby. I need to I need to get to where I can cook that water. Close you real quick. All right, should be able to make a chest. Deploy. That's another way to put stuff down there in case you didn't know that. Let me see if I can put you right here. Rotate you around. Bam. Now I can put a bunch of stuff in there that I don't need just yet, like fiber and stuff like that. I'm not going to need any of this for just a little bit, but I don't want to lose it if I get killed by another bear. So, I guess what I'm going to do is we're closing up on dark time now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm having a whole lot of fun with this game. It's an absolute blast. I'm definitely going to do some more of it. Go ahead and consume that. Get those back up there. Consume the, the whole stack. Get that back up. So, yeah, um, I'm going to end the video here. If you did enjoy the video, do me a favor and leave a like on it. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you guys get notified when the next one goes live. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for your support, and I'll see you in the next one.